kick rocks, Julian. Sue, because we're not going to sit by and allow female athletes to lose their spots and their opportunities mm, mm, for your mm, athletes. Kick mm. rocks, dude. Press, he watch. Yeah. It's real life. It is real life. I mean, it always just blows my mind Chuck having this. Just took salute. Real life. Salute. It is real Chuck life. I mean, it always just blows my mind Telling having these conversations. The we have them all the time, unfortunately. Salute. The, this to that. Ninja Chuck, salute, salute to that Ninja Chuck for telling the truth. Salute to that Ninja Chuck for telling the truth. Real life. It is real life. I mean, it always just blows my mind having these conversations. Yeah. We have them all the time, unfortunately. That this is actually up for debate. It's crazy. Yeah. It's, you know, you talk about conservatives, and it's it's really not a it's not a conservative stance to say that it it should not be. It it should not be political. It should not it it should not be a blue v red thing. It should be logic. Men and women should not compete against each other. I mean, this is just. Common sense. Thing that anybody yeah. who has one brain cell in their body <laughs> should realize yeah. should not be occurring. Um, but even USA Boxing, oh, but touching on Leah Thomas, I just want to remind everybody who, who cannot grasp the insanity of all of this. Leah Thomas, when competing as a man, was ranked 462. Wow. And the second Leah Thomas jumped into the women's division was first. Crazy. Going from 462 all the way to first, and like you mentioned, having she not a Leah cheated. Leah cheated. Leah the cheated. The women's division was first. Going from 462 to first, and like you mentioned, having not have competed already for another year, and you would assume, and probably be very correct in your assumption that they could get back into the water and immediately be number one again. I mean, that just speaks to, uh, that just speaks to how wrong this absolutely is. And, and even USA Boxing uh, is another organization, Riley, that has made allowances for transgender competitors to compete in the gender oh, division that they identify with. And this is boxing. Des despicable, despicable, detestable, des despicable, despicable. Riley that has made allowances That's for transgender spickable. competitors to compete in the gender division that they identify with. And this is boxing. I mean, this is a violent sport. Yeah. It just makes yeah. no sense. Uh, it, no, it doesn't. And it's, again, it's just a wild concept that yeah. in the name of progress, Agreed. they call this progressive as if we're moving in the positive <laughs> forward direction. They're going to award men oh. money, prize money, and championship belts and titles for beating up on women and punching them in the face Crazy. with the intention of knocking them out. Yep. We're going to award that and glorify that and call these men champions Crazy. in the name of progress and weirdly enough, Locked. feminist extol. Revere. We're going to award that and glorify that and call these men champions in the name Excuse. of progress and weirdly enough. Feminism, it is the craziest, I mean, you, you, that's, a, a, you, there's no other way you can describe it other than crazy. But again, I think things like this have to happen to wake up that, that mm. silent, mm. Or, yeah, the silent majority and the moderates mm. who maybe right. don't really know how they feel, maybe they don't like Trump, or maybe they didn't see a problem with Biden. Okay, well now they're waking up yep. and we need them to wake up. So. I think we can look at this one of two ways. Um, actually, we can probably look at it at both ways simultaneously. Of course, this is terrible. And yeah. I think what, it's going, to, what yeah. it's going to take for these governing bodies to open their eyes is someone being a woman being fatally injured. But we can also look at this mm. as a plus in a sense because it's waking people up, which mm. is necessary and I would argue urgent. That's an excellent point, and she's right. In a sense, because it's waking people up, which is necessary, 
in a sense because it's waking people up, which is necessary and I would argue urgent. That's an excellent nope. point. And what, uh, because I'm so that that uh, what 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 Gaines said was dope. Uh, laudable, logical, based. That's an excellent point, yes. and she's right because I'm somebody who was always sort of teetering back and forth between left and right. I was more leftist, you know, a couple of years ago. I used to be conservative, and then I kind of switched because I was stupid, <laughs> and I got caught up in the whole media, you know, garbage. And I was one of those people that wasn't really. That's an excellent point, and she's right, because I'm somebody who was always sort of teetering back and forth between left and right. I was more leftist, you know, a couple of years ago. I used to be conservative, and then I kind of switched because I was stupid, <laughs> and I got caught up in the whole media, you know, garbage. The deceit, the false narratives, the deceit, the untruth, the false narrative, the false narratives, the sowing of seeds of discord, the lying, the, the, yeah, yeah. The and lie, I got caught up in the, the whole media, the constant you know, garbage, lying. And I was one of those people that wasn't really aware of what was happening. Lying. And when I started opening my eyes and I started seeing what was happening, left and right, I was more leftist, you know, a couple of years ago. I used to be conservative and then I kind of switched because I was stupid. <laughs> and I got caught up in the whole media, you know, garbage. And Tricks. I was one of those people that wasn't really aware of what was happening. And when I started opening my eyes and I started seeing what was happening with this gender ideology cult movement, specifically in schools, and then I started seeing it yeah, the, uh, sports, the books, and the gay books, the, the deviant. Hold up a second. Like, this is uh, insanity. Books. I wasn't and what was happening and when I started opening my eyes and I started seeing what was happening with this gender ideology cult movement specifically in schools and yep. then I started seeing it infiltrating sports and that yep. point woke yep. me up and said hold up a second like this is insanity too, I wasn't ready too for it. far that was too much <laughs> Right, I was more leftist, you know, a couple of years ago. I used to be conservative and then I kind of switched because I was stupid. <laughs> and I got caught up in the whole media, you know, garbage. And I was one of those people that wasn't really aware of what was happening. And when I started opening my eyes and I started seeing what was happening with this gender ideology cult movement, specifically in schools, and then I started seeing it infiltrating sports, and that's what woke me up and said, Hold up a second. Like, this is insanity. I was already feeling like the left was insane. <laughs> and I was already, like, giving them, like, not a lot of eyeball. But Why? this took it over the top for me. It was the fact that men were now allowed to be in female spaces. The Crazy. fact that this ideology Crazy. was taught to Whoa. children and kids. And uh, that, for me, that type of indoctrination was a, like, that was the light bulb moment for me that I needed to just completely separate myself and sever ties with the left for good. E extricate. This associate. Yes. Nation was a light bulb. Uh, that was the light bulb moment for me that I needed to three. just completely separate myself and sever ties with the left for good and yeah. never look left again. And I uh, So she's absolutely. See what you did there. Fire for good and never look left again, mm. and I haven't. So she's absolutely right. Unfortunately, sometimes it takes these extreme examples and these extreme so, rule changes cause. to wake people Jeez. up. And we're seeing it. There are a lot of people on the left, there are talking heads on the left, who are now starting to see how crazy this movement is. People like Hannah Kasparian, who yes. is a host of the Young Turks, a very progressive leftist yes, yes, yes. podcast uh, news uh, channel. and. She recently has started to really see the insanity of the left when yes. it comes to gender ideology. Yes. And when it comes to... The woke left, the far left, the radical left. Progressiveness when it comes to feminism today and how it completely tries to erase biological females in order to make room for biological men. It's yep. insane. Yep. Birthing people? Really? Come on. For me, it's not even like, oh... It's crazy. I, I... Right. 
females in order to make room for biological yep, men. It's yep. insane. Well, Birthing people, really? Come on. For me, it's not even like, oh, I, I don't want to be inclusive and I don't want to think of, you know, transgender people. It's the phrasing, like, it just makes you sound like a weird object. Mm, that, like, yes, yes. You know, every real female should be insulted, should, should take ombrage, should up, object, every, 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 every real female should object to this woke crap, yeah, yes, yes, every real female should object to this crap. You know, birthing, uh, pers bir birthing person, birth, birth, birthing, birthing person, crazy, birth, birthing person, wow, wow, goofy. You know, transgender people, it's the phrasing, like, it just makes you sound like a weird object that yes. like you're just you're a vessel and nothing more like birthing people just sounds weird agreed <laughs> agreed yep and she it's got cooked good. uh and what it Anna, Jesus. bye uh, radical leftists. Are you looking at a She got cooked, slanged, derogated, denigrated, 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 denigrated by the, the radical leftists. Ole uh, Vosh, I believe, other goofy people on the left. Yeah, Fine. she got she got cooked for <laughs> calling. <laughs> she got cooked for call. She she got cooked. She got cooked for calling out the BS. Anna got cooked for calling out the BS. Whack. Whack, whack. Yeah, do not, do not fold to the woke mob. Do not. She did not fold to the mob. So salute to Anna. She did not fold to the mob. So salute to Anna long time yes like you're just you're a vessel and nothing more like birthing people just sounds Horrible. weird agreed based tweet and uh posted we're seeing people like bill maher a long time liberal yes now